So, this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I just got to play this game this year and I am excited. This time this game go back to uh, 432 BC during ancient Greece, the Peloponnesian War between Spartan and Athenian. If you're a fan of the 300, you'll know how the Spartan was like. This woman here is a Spartan with a huge Spartan body built and crazy strong armor all over her. Let me show you guys what's inside this game. So, this is the map of Greece. It will take time for you to explore and they're absolutely like you experience the adventure yourself. Which it take me like a while to explore the whole Greece. On here is a quest. They have so many quests for you to choose. And they recommend level on each quest. Level that highlighted in red means you need to level up and if you're still going on that level, you're not going to survive. I died so many times while trying, <laughs> so up your level please. Here is the character. This is her inventory. Even all of her armor have a level. This one, I can't put it on yet because I didn't reach level 22. If there's armor you think you don't need, you can just dismantle it into the resources or sell it to the blacksmith. You have Stop by again. She can carry three weapons with her. I have a dagger with me, a cool looking trident, and I have a bow that I use for hunting. Yeah, you're not just an assassin, but also a warrior and a hunter. On the next one is abilities. Once you level up, you got an ability points and you can assign from here. However, you need to choose wisely. Which one do you think can benefit your character? Because you can only have 4 abilities assigned on the left melee weapons here. You can either assign from assassin or warrior or just go with both. For the hunter's abilities, you can assign it on the range button on the left here. But if you don't let a certain ability you have assigned it, you can unassign it and choose whichever you want to replace it. And lastly, not least, down here is your permanent abilities that you can't change ever. Oh yes, just like I see Black Flag. You travel around with ships, set sails in ancient style. You can customize your ship design. There is also a crew team, which I have Barnabas crew and Mongers men and many more to come soon. Here is special lieutenant as your companion. This side is your ship upgrade. Once you have enough resources and money, you can go ahead and upgrade it as much as you want. Mercenary, they're like you, but they hunt you. Other people can put a bounty on your head if you're killing someone in the game. That's why you need to be as stealthy as ever. So you can help it, but to go full on savage because the soldiers are freaking everywhere and you just want to get your quest done quickly. Cultists is your personal bounty list that you need to find them and kill all of them. This is one of the main quests in the game. They are the reason of everything and they need to be taken down before they destroy your life. Anyway, this game itself is very outstanding. Their fighting styles are great, different from Assassin's Creed or the games. Actually, Ubisoft put magic changes start from Assassin's Creed Origins. I have to admit, after Black Flag, I lost interest in their other two releases, Unity and Syndicate. 
then Origin trailer release in 2017. I checked their gameplay and I'm very surprised at how stunning it was. One of us. Let it be you. Let us come truce. You are not the one I've sworn to kill. Question of honor. It is a fight to the death. So I decided to give it a try. I love it to the death. Without you, the villagers look to me to keep order. Hey, what? Now back to Odyssey, we did finally become their first full RPG, allowing gamers to interact and change things in open worlds with multiple choices. Like how you can try the iconic Spartan no! kick! That is a rough fall. For Sparta! You can go to the war between Spartan and Athenian. You compete in arena. Fight with mystical creatures like the Minotaur, Medusa, and Cyclops. Also, on the other side, you can go on animal hunting, collecting wood and stones in the forest for some resources. You can change your horse's skin. You have choices of dialogue, whether you can flirt, kill, or being wise with the characters in this game. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Miss Theos. Stay back. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? You sunk my boat, pirate. If you're in the main quest, please choose wisely. Because your choices will affect your ending to this game. It either can be tragic or a happy ending. What are you talking about? Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. Overall, it was a great experience. I love history. In fact, the whole AC franchise is a history-based game. I love that they featured historical characters in their games like King Leonidas, Aspasia, and many more. So that's all for my review. If you like my video, hit the thumbs up below and subscribe for more video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please be safe and stay at home during this MCO. Bye bye.